A famous painting was auctioned off for 1.4 million dollars before the unthinkable happened. A man with a can of spray tagging a building under cover of darkness isn't what most people think when they hear the words high art. But when the secretive and anonymous artist Banksy broke into the scene, that all started to change in a major way. When one of his completed works went up for auction, many buyers were hoping to grab a piece of history. There were entire family fortunes on the line. However, Banksy laid out an ingenious scheme that would transform the art piece in a way that would leave the art world utterly speechless. Do you consider graffiti to be a legitimate art form? Let us know in the comments section below and then be sure to leave us a like and hit subscribe for more. On October 5, 2018, Sotheby's in London was busy preparing for an auction. This itself was nothing remarkable. After all, that's their business. But the auction that day was special. Sotheby's are the experts when it comes to selling priceless works of art. They've been doing it for hundreds of years, but this day was going to be particularly special and the beginning of a new chapter. They were auctioning off a rare piece of today's most relevant street artist, Banksy. This is one artist who probably never expected to find his work being sold off to a wealthy bidder at a private auction house. Since the 1990s, he's made a name for himself with works that subvert artistic conventions and skewer various aspects of society. Chances are you've seen his work already, even if you don't know it. Almost nobody knows who Banksy is. His real identity is a carefully guarded secret that likely will never come to light. You would think that would be something that would hamper his rising celebrity, but that's not the case. Even though his anonymity prevents him from doing interviews or having a social media presence, it certainly adds to his allure. Countless articles have been written about him, and even a documentary was about his work. Many theorists named Bristol artist Robin Cunningham as the likeliest candidate for Banksy, but all the dots still don't connect. It's quite possible, in fact, that Banksy may be multiple people collaborating under a single name. Banksy is most famous for his graffiti, a copy of which was going on sale at Sotheby's. His clever pieces go far beyond tagging his name on a brick wall. Instead, they have a biting visual message. His minimalist works often blend in seamlessly with the urban landscape. In fact, that's what makes them so darn compelling. They stop you in your tracks and make you look twice. Banksy has the unique ability to transform any ordinary object into politically charged art. Sometimes he accomplishes this feat with just a few words. So it's no surprise that so many collectors were chomping in the bit to buy their very own Banksy. They hungrily eyed the prize as the bids climbed up to $1 million and beyond. These high rollers were competing to get their hands on one of Banksy's most famous murals, Balloon Girl. Many critics consider it to be among the greatest works of art in the United Kingdom. But this version of Balloon Girl had one feature that the original lacked. Inside the frame, Banksy secretly lined the bottom of the painting with motorized blades. What was he planning? Well, the exact instant the painting sold, with a final price tag of $1.4 million, the booby-trapped frame shredded the painting to pieces. Nobody in attendance could wrap their minds around what had just occurred. What kind of artist would destroy his own work? Art seller Steve Lazarides, one of the few individuals in Banksy's inner circle, suggested that the shredded version of Balloon Girl may be worth even more than the original. Though some members of the art community criticized the move as a cruel prank, others are now calling it one of Banksy's greatest demonstrations ever. Perhaps only one other stunt could rival its originality and shock value. Banksy made headlines around the world in 2015 by curating the Dismal Land installation. The site utilized dozens of pieces of construct in a sinister twist on the Disney franchise and theme parks in general. Dismaland welcomed over 150,000 in its temporary run. Guests could enjoy, or at least tolerate, attractions such as Rundown Princess Castle, a museum of dangerous objects, and purposely unfair games like Topple the Anvil with a ping pong ball. It's clear that when it comes to art, Banksy isn't content to let the status quo stand. What do you think about Banksy's stunt of having his own painting self-destruct? Let us know in the comments section below. And then, don't forget to take a moment to like this story and to hit subscribe for more.